you will know them by their fruit. Now the fruit of the Spirit reveals the inner condition of the heart. So I encourage you to come near to Jesus and allow the Holy Spirit to perfect your walk and you will bear much fruit. Now without fruit, our testimony can have contradiction and a changed heart produces a changed life. I wanna start with Matthew 7, 15. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves and you will know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Now, every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. So let us be those who produce good fruit, being connected to the true vine, who is Jesus Christ. Romans 5.1 says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So let us love without hypocrisy, abhor what is evil, cling to what is good, be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love, in honor giving preference to one another, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. Galatians 5.22 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. So I just want to encourage you as we continue to testify about what the Lord has done in our life, let us bear much fruit. And of course, we cannot bear that fruit without really being connected to the vine and looking to the Lord Jesus Christ to help and with the help of the Holy Spirit to cultivate that fruit within us in prayer and in um, devotion. Those fruits of the Spirit should be a cultivated part of a Christian walk. God bless you.